Less than nine days left to be able to get your hands on my craft kit. If you've been hesitating, wait no more. These are in limited quantities until August 15th, and some amazing art and craft channels have already played around with the box. If you're interested to watch their videos and what they make with it, check down below. But basically the idea is you get a mold to create a character so that you can turn it into your creature of choice. So be sure to check the link down below to not miss out. Welcome to Second Chances, the episode where I'm going to give craft kits that have hurt the my heart and broken it and my heart went like this and I made me cry and cry and cry and give them a second chance to prove themselves especially if they've remade the kit years later. Today we're going to be testing out So Glow DIY. So Glow, don't think you can fool me. This actual kit was known as Jelly Worlds and I've done a similar kit to this a few years ago and it has failed miserably. It was just gross and murky and the instructions were just pfft, absolute poo. In addition to that, my friend Macaroon tried to remake this kit, also Jelly Worlds, with different types of water to see which one would actually succeed. If you're interested in that video, I'll link it down below, but essentially we're gonna be doing something similar. And so as I mentioned, today's victim... <laughs> Mm, I mean kit. Magic Jar So Glow DIY. This kit is supposed to help you make a kind of decoration where you can put your characters and they suspend in midair. Well, mid midwater kind of jelly thing. But it is notorious for failing. Notorious for breaking hearts. Notorious for making your money go baba. -ba. So if you cherish your money, don't spend on jelly worlds. You know, you keep telling people to not waste their money, and yet you're doing it for them. That is a very noble cause, Jackie, isn't it? You're very noble. This kit makes the process seem super simple, where we mix our ingredients, decorate, and then just shake it to light up. They also say we're going to get five surprises. So glow, look at me, look at me straight into the windows of my soul need your surprises. If this kit works, that's the surprise. <laughs> All the other gummy things that you're going to add in there are just going to be inconsolable sorries. I don't need your sorry. I just need you to do something right. So for $40 for this kit, yes, I paid $40, this had better work because we're going to try tap water, distilled water, and mineralized water since they give us three three jars you know let me know in the comment section below if you think this kit is going to be a yay or absolute garbage and for those of you who are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe because i do like to wave sharp things at you don't make me do it click on all notifications while you're there i really love the fact that they give us three different jars well one large one and two minis because usually if you fail once you're like okay maybe it was my fault maybe but then if you fail a second time, you're like, what the shrimp just happened? I'm sure it's not me. I don't make the same mistakes twice. But then a third time if it fails, you definitely know that this kit is just setting you up for failure. It's not you. It's them 100%. But in order to do that, let's see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. We get the large jar over here and two mini ones. So when they say mini, they mean it. Get it? They mean it. They mean it. They mean it. <laughs> and inside each one. There's this. We have the light that we can turn on and off. How do we do that? Where is it? Oh, okay, so all we have to do to turn the light on, which I will do, so if you have light sensitivities, look away, is press this little button here, and it just flashed a little bit to tell us it's on, and then when we shake it, it's on. And it auto shuts off in about, oh, oh, it changes colors. Well, look at you, that's a surprise. It's very, ooh. So we get some, some fancy lights, I'm gonna, they said to keep it on, so I'm just gonna keep it on like that. And then each package comes with some kind of mystery bag. And we get some kind of crystals that I don't know yet, not labeled yet. Two bags of confetti, glitter, and I'm guessing our toys. So we have a narwhal, nar narwhal or narwhal. We get a meow maid and a sea pegasus, seahorse pegasus. Oh, and we also, 
We got some really adorable stickers. I'm really loving these. These are absolutely adorable. Again, I know it's the same kit because they're reusing the exact same characters. That That's... That's that for the big jar. Now for this mini jar. Oh my god. Okay, for this mini jar. Oh, oh that was hard. <laughs> Here's what we get. More hexagonal glitter. Is this the same confetti? No, okay, so we have silver and purplish confetti, whereas this one was more pink and silver. I'm guessing this is what's going to make our water much thicker. And the character, oh, one character. We have a space bear. Space bear goes all over outer space, flies here and there and everywhere. Get your own space bear, only 15 payments of $69.99. And we also get Space Bear type stickers. I feel like some of these characters would be perfect for Mariah Elizabeth because they're adorable and just colorful. Yummy, yummy. They don't make no creatures of darkness for me. Well, this one came out more easily. Sure, I'll take it. And what do we get? Oh my God, is it Valentine's Day? We get red, pink, and purple confetti. More hexagonal glitters. Iridescent, I know they're all iridescent. Don't come at me, okay? I know my glitters have a huge collection of quite a few hundreds of bottles of glitter. It's not a problem, I can stop anytime I want. Anyways, on to this one. We have the purplish powder. Again, I'm going to assume that this is what's going to thicken our water. And our character is a rainbow. What? 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 Do we get anything else? This is probably the dumbest surprise in this kit. Because as you can see, we have actual characters in the large jar. We get a bear in the small one and then a rainbow here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out one of the characters from the large jar and just add a rainbow in this one. So that way all of them have characters. Oh, and let's not forget they gave us some instructions very pitifully <laughs> black and white for $40. Oh my god. So I'm going to go ahead, read the instructions and find out how long this is going to take. Alright, so oddly enough, the instructions don't tell us how long we're supposed to let it sit. It just basically says to shake it and it should be done. So this is gonna be interesting to see. So for the first one, we have this here and it says to put cold water. It doesn't... It, clearly says cool water. So let's go ahead and fill it up until the fill line. Very nice. Oh, let's hear that water go down. Oh my god, I have to go up for more water now. <laughs> I was so close. Go get hydrated if you haven't had enough water today. Do it. And go. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh my god, no! My felt it got wet. Oh, felt, no. Oh, rip felt. F in the chat for felt. Now we're going to go ahead and put our surprise figurines. What the heck is this? Oh my god, I totally judged it. <laughs> I, I totally bashed this rainbow. I was like, rainbows, they're not people. But I'm wrong. This rainbow is totally a person. Look at it. It looks so happy. I'm sorry I mistreated you, rainbow. You're gonna go in here. In here and there. Oh, I love that plop sound. And now it says to add all the glitter and confetti. It's so weird that we have to add the glitter, even though it's supposed to be floating and a thick liquid. Something feels off, but I guess I'll just trust their instructions because obviously they got the suspended characters right. All right, here's one confetti and the iridescent glitter. Eh, voila. And now. Now we add the magic powder and the instructions say to use the big magic powder bag with the big bottle so we don't want it to get too thick. So far so good. I really hope this time that it's the same formula that we used in the Dan and Darcy kit where we can make marbled kind of stuff because that liquid got really thick. So if it's the same one, just a little color, that we should be definitely okay. Did they tell us to stir it? Let's check. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. No. No stirring yet because we're gonna shake the entire bottle. Okay. And here it goes. I think, I think I made the opening too small. Oh my god. And voila. Very nice. 
and the jar gets closed and now we just have to make sure that it's nicely tight and we're going to shake it. Look at that. School of Nerdy Crafter Dance, now available. Sign ups below. Is it all mixed up yet? Yeah, that looks pretty mixy. Okay, and so the thing that I was the most worried about is exactly what's happening. We have all this confetti floating to the top, and oddly enough, the characters float to the top. Look at that. Our characters are not sinking, which I guess is a good thing. So ideally, when this hardens, we should have our characters placed however way we want so they're not too heavy, but yeah. The only way to get them lower is to shake the entire thing. It swirls like a little, little whirlpool. But then, let's fast forward this. Two of the characters went up and the whale? The whale seems to be sinking. So, okay, let's go ahead and do the other ones. And now for this little jar, we're going to go ahead and use. <sighs> Distilled water so that the way there's no excuse for it not getting into a jelly state and for some weird reason They only sell distilled water in like four liters. So wait, hang on for your mare grains Oh, they, don't, they only write it in liters for us here in Canada. So it's four liters this many in gallons <laughs> Was like nothing. I don't know what I was expecting <laughs> Okay, here's our little jar, and uh, this is totally gonna work out fine. I got this, don't worry. I got this, I totally have it. Yes! Oh, my felt. Got it, I'm so good, look at me. <laughs> In goes our little space bear. The entirety of the glitter. Wow, that space bear really just fell to the bottom, didn't it? <laughs> and then we have our confetti. Voila, that's a lot of confetti. And last but not least, the most important thing, which is the magic powder. Voila, and in ya go. Oh, and we're supposed to turn the light on, so there we go. And I might as well bring you reins with me on this adventure and just shake it while we're here until the color fully dissolves. Oh, that's a really deep color. And our thing is plopped to the bottom. I'm starting to get really worried about this kit. We have distilled water and tap water. Let's stop here and see what happens. So here they both are. The instructions really don't give me much information, so I'm going to wait 20-ish minutes according to the Jelly World's website. That's how long the jelly is supposed to take to set. So let's come back and check that out later. A little longer than a few minutes later. All right, so here we are 40 minutes later. Let's take a good quick touch at how much jellified it's become. What is that? This is this is still water. What's going on here? This is as liquidy as when we first started. Nothing has changed. What's going on? Let's see the distilled. Oh, same thing with the distilled water. Not a single thing changed. Hang on. All right, so I think I found a commercial of this actual toy. So let's see what's going on because I'm starting to feel like this could be false advertisement or at least very deceptive and dishonest advertisement. Oh no. Let's go back. So glow DIY. Make your color change mood like this colorful confetti. Did I just pay $40 for colored water, some erasers, and a plastic jar? I have goosebumps right now. I am very upset. Fill the jar with water, mix in the glitter, confetti, magic powder, and surprise character. But they're calling it a magic powder. They're clearly calling this a magic powder. What's magic about it? I'm getting really huffy puffy here. So we just paid $40 for a plastic jar, an LED light, an eraser, and some confetti. All of which you can get from the dollar store. Ooh. You could have put the light underneath it. They just put, they, they just put a water, oh my god. Are they kidding right now? I paid $40 for a plastic jar, eraser, and color? What's the magic about it? Wow, okay. Canal Toys, your box is the most deceptive piece of trash I have seen to date. Maybe I've seen more deceptive than that, but this is extremely deceptive. I am really angry right now. I'm gonna make a jelly toy right after I vent because I'm gonna use my own things from home to make some of these suspended. But holy shit. Shrimp! 
Like, are you kidding? On the box itself, you can see that the characters are suspended. That's it. The, even the girl that's on the box is looking at it, and the characters are suspended. It doesn't show, like, this whole twirly thing that's going on, because if it was twirly, you wouldn't see the character because the glitter would be all over the place. So in order to trick people into getting this, they're basically putting characters similar to the Jelly Worlds. Just so that you can pick this up. I am so pissed. Don't buy this. This is a zero, zero on 10 for me because it was deceptive. Use the same characters that were in the Jelly World, made them suspended, and then called it magic powder. What's magic about it? So I think this kit, even though I did call this series a second chance, there's no second chance. This is a completely different product with completely different motives to trap you into thinking this is the exact same thing because they know the person's gonna ask for it to be like, I want this kit, it's jelly, but it's not jelly. Yeah, this kit is obviously 100% in the trace. Oh my god! Deceptive! I am... I'm gonna empty one of these jars. I'm gonna funnel the glitter, put it in the recycling, and let's make our own jelly environment. So for this project, I'm going to use hand sanitizer gel from the dollar store. This technique is taken by Macaroon, well from Macaroon, because look, this gel will not move. Okay, it's not moving. I'm pretty sure they can actually make these kits much cheaper with less false advertisement. Someone should really talk to them. I'm very annoyed. And we're gonna pour this hand sanitizer inside. Look at this, nice and jelly. Tap it down. And here's our gel water, cheaper. You can get a plastic jar from the dollar store too. Let's put in characters. Let's put in our little seahorse. So we're just gonna smush it in here with our little plastic spoon, push it down. Look at that, suspended. And I'm just gonna move it slightly to the side over here. And now I'm going to add the rainbow character. Even though we said it wasn't a character, it is totally a person. <laughs> It is, it has nice resistance. Look at that. That's some good resistance. We just don't have the tool, but look at that. Very nice. And we just cover it up. Voila. It was cheaper than $40. Just wanted to say it. Oh, you're wondering what it looks like in the dark? Sure, let's take a look at that. All right, let's put this cap right on. And we still have the other one, that one, the, the garbage one. Let's go ahead and turn the lights. All right, so the light is off. Let's go ahead and shake the water one. Here it is. So as you can see, very nice and very glowy. But at the same time, where the heck is our character? It's it's just kind of hanging out at the bottom and we can barely see it. What's the point? I'm gonna move that away. And let's go ahead. Oh, I didn't even need to shake it. There's our other one. Look at it. Isn't this much cuter? You can definitely add glitter and confetti pieces in here to make it more personal and even shine much cuter. I mean, come on, come on. This is a no brainer for me. <laughs> Yeah, 100% you can see the characters, things look way better. And you know what? If you have your erasers in there, you can use this as hand sanitizer too. Voila! So let me know, what did you think of this packaging? Was it deceptive? Because for me, 100%, it is deceptive. They're really making the characters float upright like they are stationary. I'm losing my voice, I'm so angry. If you want to watch more reviews, this time actual reviews as opposed to deceptive ones, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch me rate some fidget toys, definitely check down here. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video.